What's up guys, Neil here, back with an Android app review, and in this case it is a cross-platform app in that it's available for iOS as well. I think it's also something you can use on the web, but I've only really tested it on the Android side, and that's the DC Universe app. So, uh, recently the first episode of Titans was released to the app, so I wanted to give it a watch, so I checked out the app, and I will say uh, on using it for the past few days, it's actually a pretty impressive app. When you load the app, it has a pretty familiar layout uh, when you scroll up and down and even among the carousel um, at the top, it looks along the lines of your Netflix or Amazon Prime style app where you get recommended stuff. Um, you scroll in, you can see your stuff that you recently watched and you can resume watching that. Uh, you get trending movies, uh, DC Daily, basically a daily recap of um, sh the shows that were released and what's news and all of that. You get recommended comics and uh, comics in the DC Universe. Character highlights for, um, I assume it's based on sh shows that you're watching, but it can be, I'm guessing it's also related to sh characters in the DC Universe. Um, so from there, it's a pretty uh, good app. So jumping into movies and TV, you get a... Uh, You'll get a listing of what's available on the app. So let's say you wanted to watch Titans. You can uh, touch the banner. It'll load the page. And you can jump right into it. You get um, Hawk and Dove. The next episode is coming of Titans is coming up um, in a day. And then the, you get the schedule of upcoming episodes. Um, and then if you want to download an episode, you can just touch the dots and hit download. Or if you want to add it to a list. So let's say you have a list of shows to watch. You can do that or um, episodes that you want to see then you can add it to a custom list if you like a show you can hit the thumbs up button and you can also add that show to a list if you so desire if you want to share a list you can just hit the share button and it'll pop up the share menu um, based on your android device so you can do that um, and then you can um, browse around different series, uh, like constantine as well birds of play flash even the old lois and clark with uh, Richard Dean Anderson, I believe. So you get all sorts of different um, content in the app itself. Um, and so even if you wanted to watch the watch Batman Begins, you can do that. And so the one thing I did notice is not not all content is available for download. So that's something to be careful when you're watch, using the app on the go. Um, the app also has the ability to read comic books, which is pretty nifty. I don't think it's an all-inclusive list. I really haven't searched for everything, but it does have uh, comics as far back as the DC Comics um, uh, comic series, so you can uh, check that out. I did read the first that issue with the first appearance of Batman, which is pretty nifty. You can get recommendations like uh, Robin Year One, Hawk and Dove, um, Tales of the New Teen Titans, which is pretty big right now just because in general for the um, young series as well as it. Uh, series that um just released um and you can also for example read batman uh, from 1940 the first issue so if you want to check um that out and check out uh, he, the hugo he strange in the first appearance of the joker and catwoman so actually that's something i might check out as well just to um read but I, so just hitting the plus sign and i can add it to a list i'm going to call it let's say um stuff to check out and um it doesn't you can add a description you can make it private or not i mean we'll make it private so um that's that so i now i don't have to worry about it. i can go just straight to the list and jump right into it um the app itself or the app also has the ability to check out news so if you want to uh, see what's going on in the dc universe that's also an option so um, that's also um, an option and then you have the ability to read in the encyclopedia which is basically their wikipedia style format of um, heroes and villains and various characters in the dc universe so they do have recommendations that are um, for example highlights based on teen titans uh, tv heroes and villains or if you just want to read the entire index you can go to the index and see the full uh, listing with um profile pictures of those characters as you um go th uh, run through the app so a pretty inclusive list of features um and it all depend and then i was reading one earlier so it tells you if a character's profile is canon or not or how much is or isn't canon so all sorts of information that is uh, pretty nifty there and of course load time does depend on your internet connection so 
um, if you're in a rush and you have a, sl a slow internet connection, then that is something to be wary of. But um, overall, it is a pretty good um, or a, a pretty um, inclusive app. I do like it. It does have a little bit of lag um, in loading different screen in, screen, screens and swiping stuff around. So something to pay attention to. But overall, I haven't had any crashes. I did have one disconnect when I was... Uh, watching Titans on my TV via Chromecast, which was kind of weird. It was there was no reason for it not to disconnect. It was streaming just fine. There was enough buffer, so it might have just been a weird random glitch. But um, overall, I really can't complain. I'd probably give it about a ninety to ninety-five percent. Um, and then you can also go into um, a section called My DC, which will let you uh, add a background image, a profile picture. Um, it gives you a list of what you're watching, a list of uh, comics, stuff that's downloaded to your device, and then, of course, your list. So, um, And then that item that I added for stuff to check out is there. And then if you want to add a background image there, you can also do that. So um, a pretty good app. Um, I, I, last time I checked, it's something like $7.99 a month, and then there's a discounted rate if you go yearly. So... Um, I did like the first episode of Titans, so I will probably keep it to keep my subscription active just to uh, watch the series and check out the app, see how good it holds up. Um, but that's really all there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website, of course, is PatelN01.com. You can get this review and any review on the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash PatelN01. And if you want to help support the show and get content like this early or deliver to your podcast client of choice, be sure to support the show on uh, Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01. But that is all for this particular uh, review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.